Are you ready to make Blender even more powerful, a better tool for making models for 3D printing by extending it with add-ons that it already really has in there? We just got to turn them on. So let's jump into that. I've got a low poly dyno here so that we can just have something interesting to look at. But actually, most of what we're going to do is going to take place in the edit preferences window and under the add on section. So here we see that Blender has set up in it a ton of add ons. And I'll tell you the truth. These are all super, super useful. And, you know, I've turned them all on and honestly, they don't all get in the way, but you really don't need a lot of them for 3D printing. Let's talk about the ones that you absolutely do need for 3D printing. To begin with, there is a 3D print add-on. So just click on the search function in little, little spyglass uh, tab, tab right there, panel right there, and type 3D, and look, everything is 3D, print toolbox. So dash print, aha, there it is, mesh 3D print toolbox. And when you click that on the panel on the right hand side of the 3d view you'll notice we get a new tab that says 3d print and if you click on that okay down at the bottom there's an export button expand that out and take that export button and drag it to the top of this 3d view and then you can actually close everything else down i really don't use anything but this export button but there you go if you do that you have got everything uh ready to go so you can export stls in a just a button click and you don't need to remember to check selection only when you do that because that's the default. Oh, it's so good. Okay, close out the search function in the in the uh, add-ons tab, and we're going to search for a new one called modifier tools. To, to start with, click the modifier tab in the properties panel. If you don't have an object selected, just select the floor. And with that open, watch what, ha watch what happens. This is so good. Okay in the search modifier whoops let me click up here modifier here we go modifier tools click that and oh it's not going to work because we don't have any modifiers is it yeah we'd have to turn on a modifier okay so if on the floor real quickly we'll just add a modifier add a boolean modifier doesn't matter but notice we have four new buttons apply all viewport view these are super useful so go ahead and x out that boolean modifier we don't need i just wanted to show you what that is and, and we'll check those out later all right another useful tool is well there's two of them that are really really cool one of them is called the bool tool modifier so type a b-o-o-l and turn on bool tool and notice we get the edit tab in our right hand panel and if you click on that we now have a bool tool which you can open up and we can auto or brush boolean difference union intersect and scale i'll show you how to use those later go ahead and close that out the next one that we want to add is auto mirror or actually we could just search for mirror m-i-r-r there we go auto mirror and it shows up right here underneath the bool tool in that edit tab so that's pretty cool and this, again, I'll show you how to use that, but that's where it is for now. Let's see, what else do we need? Oh, you know what? There are a ton of objects that you just never saw in the mesh tools. So what I want you to do is look for extra and then add mesh extra objects, turn that on. And if I mouse over the 3D view and hit shift A, well, I guess I have to click into it. Notice now we have, it used to stop at monkey, and now it goes down to rock generator, single vert, rounded cube, torus object, math functions, gears, pipe joints. We have all these extra objects, and they are absolutely fantastic. And we'll, we'll use them at some point in the future, but I just wanted you to see what that did. Close, uh, X out the search function, and this time we're going to search for loop tools. Turn that on. As far as what loop tools do, it's going to be difficult to show you right now, but trust me, I use that quite a lot. And those are all of the essential plugins, I think, but there are tons more. And if you, if you end up searching through here and finding something that you think is useful, 
Well, go ahead and let me know. Uh, maybe there's one that I'm missing out on, but these are the ones that I find are, are most useful and most functional. But there we go. And so I hope that these will help you guys set up. I'm, I'm definitely excited to have these finally back in my blender. I feel like I'm using blender the way that I need to. And this is fantastic. Oh, one thing you got to do though, right now is go up back to that preferences menu and with the three bar menu in the lower left hand side, make sure auto save is on and maybe just to be sure hit save preferences. That way all those plugins are saved in there and they will show up in all your files. Well, that's it for this video. I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You make these videos possible and you guys really are the wind beneath my wings. And now let's go make something cool. Remember, you are a child of God and I really appreciate you. So take care of yourself and, you know, if you can take care of somebody else too, because we all need each other. And thank you very much for watching.